Do you ever go to the calisthenics park or the gym intending to have a wicked body weight or calisthenics workout only to have your mind go blank? Well, for those days, pull out this list. Today, we're gonna cover 10 calisthenics pull exercises. I'm gonna show you some crazy options, some advanced options. Don't get scared off because I'm also gonna show you a beginner modification. Today, we will bridge the gap between beginners and these more advanced drills so you know what you're working towards as a beginner, where you can go and what drills to do to get there. I'm going to be doing these drills at a park outdoors. If you don't have access to a pull-up bar, you can always do this on rings. We're going to start with some fun calisthenics skills before we move into the strength portion. This is the more advanced version. We are going to do a pullover to support hold and then a negative muscle up. This is a really fun drill and it's an easy way to get above the bar to do your negative muscle ups. Let me show you a beginner version. Do this on a lower bar where you can actually kick and use your legs to go over. Second on this list is going to be a skin the cat to German hang. I'm gonna show you the advanced option first. Advanced meaning that we are gonna have our arms straight and our legs straight. We're gonna hold at that bottom German hang position for a second before pulling back through. If you are just starting your shoulder mobility journey, then just keep your legs tucked and cross at the ankles when you come through. Please also note that my hands are backwards as if I'm gonna do a chin up. This is a better position for the shoulders. Next onto our pull-up section, I'm gonna start with the easiest variation. These are jackknife pulls. So if you only have one pull-up right now or you have zero pull-ups, this is a great variation to try. When you perform these, make sure you set your scap down before pulling and really squeezing at the top for a second and lowering down, trying to focus on using your back more than anything else. Next, showing you a bodybuilder style pull-up where we're gonna be doing limited range of motion. I rarely do these, I don't really love them. What I prefer to do is full range of motion, trying to pull up as high as I can. One day I hope to be able to pull all the way up to my belly button. On from there, we got commando pull-ups and they're an excellent way to work your biceps and balance out your body from either side. I definitely have a stronger arm, so these are a great way to bring up the strength on that weaker side. They're also a very humbling exercise. I can do around 16 pull-ups, but I can only do six commando pull-ups on either side in one go. Your beginner option for this is to stand on a box or find a way to jump up to that top position, engage your upper body, and then lower as slow as you can. You're welcome to use your foot to help slow down that negative. On from there, we want to work on our explosive strength so that we get good at muscle ups one day and we're a better all around athlete. And then for newbies, you can do clapping rows. You are gonna be using your legs. Don't worry about it. This is gonna translate to more explosive calisthenic skills then I'm sure you've seen these before. I'm gonna be doing a full range of motion L-sit pull-ups. This is a great way to get your core firing, your hip flexors working. If you are a beginner to this exercise, I recommend just doing L-sit hangs, really pulling down, setting your scap, and then lifting your legs up, in addition to working on your pull-ups. So work these two components to eventually get your L-sit pulls. Now here's how you build some serious pulling strength. We are going to be performing holds within our pull-up. You can choose where you do the holds. In this video, I'm gonna do a hold halfway up, a hold at the top, a hold halfway down, a hold at the top, and then all the way back down. If you're a beginner, you can do this low to the ground, hold at the top, hold halfway down with a foot assist, come down and then repeat. Obviously I'm jumping into this, but you could have a box near you to help you get up to the top position. Next on to some behind the neck pull-ups. This exercise isn't gonna be for everybody. You do have to have some good mobility to work on this. I actually really like them, so I'm gonna keep doing them. If you wanna get better at this, find a way to get to the top position and perform some holds and some negatives. Oh, and then of course, because I've been working on my muscle ups, I had to include a muscle up in this video. Of course, a muscle up works both our pulling and our pushing, but it just wouldn't be complete without a muscle up. I really love to do these jumping muscle ups. I find it a really great way to get the heart rate elevated. Rows are an essential exercise for everybody's workout program, whether you're super advanced or you're a beginner, you need to be getting that horizontal pulling in because typically you would spend more time doing vertical pull and we really want to balance out our overall strength. So we need both components. 
If you're new to rows, just make yourself more upright to make them a little bit easier. Make sure you're setting your core in place and you're only moving through the elbows. You're not using your chest to get closer to the bar, you're pulling. And then on to a more advanced version of an Australian row where you have your feet elevated. Obviously, this setup is a little bit crazy, so only try it if you feel safe to do so. I really like these two because I'm working through a greater range of motion. And then for the very first time I tried a single arm row, I was not very great at it, which probably means I should start training it, balance out either side. The goal is to not have your body twist at all. So as you can see, I'm twisting quite a bit, which means I'm fairly weak at this exercise, but not for long, you guys. No pull day is complete without working on our biceps. So these are called Korean dips. I don't have a beginner option for you because I would want you to be fairly either intermediate or advanced to be giving these a go. And I absolutely destroyed my biceps doing these. It was awesome because I don't often get sore, but man, these Korean dips had my biceps working so hard. Love them. Onto some face pulls because we want to grow our muscle size to get those rear delts growing. All you gotta do is find a strap, a resistance band, a towel or a t-shirt, loop it around a pull. You can play with different variations, pulling to different heights, pulling to your forehead, pulling above. Play around a little bit until you find your weak areas and work on that. Make sure you keep your core tight. And then obviously if you lay back a little bit more, it's gonna be difficult. And if you're a beginner, you wanna be in more of an upright position. If you want more information on calisthenics pull, watch my how I went from zero to 16 pull-up video. And for more information, visit me on summerfunfitness.com. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.